Amen. Ain't that good? Praise the Lord. Just stay put. I won't be but a second. They're going to get ready for another or two or three or four. And uh, I just praise the Lord. I just want to remind you <laughs> how big that miracle is right there. Hallelujah to God. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. We didn't ever think we'd ever get to it again, did we? Amen. Praise the Lord. God's good and God does things and uh, he knows what he's doing and he knows how to do it on time. I want to thank you for helping take up the supplies. Uh, Clarence, Alyssa, Scott, and Tammy's all over there still working that. They've got the supplies. They're getting things ready in the hangar so they can fly it from here to Asheville. And in the, I know the National Guard and local volunteers and others are up there working the area trying to get supplies to the people. And praise the Lord that we're able to be a part of that. And uh, we've had some other folks outside of here that knows our people that's given some really good donations. So that's been a big help there. Uh, Clarence and Lisa and them have been gathering supplies, uh, taking the money, turning that into supplies, and getting things together and getting it up there. So it's, it's got real big, real good, and we praise the Lord for that. That's just a blessing to be able to help. I wished I could go. And be part of it up there myself. But y'all know my situation with Miss Judy. And she's done well this afternoon. Uh, she is hurting. So we're not going to say she's not hurting. Uh, but she's doing better than where she was. So we praise the Lord for that. And Matthew and his wife's there with her. Helping her. And uh, sort of filling in the gap. And, and they more than willing to do that. So that's not an issue there. Uh, I do ask you to pray. That uh, everything comes back good. Should get a pathology report back. Uh, real soon, so we're hoping that that will be a good, uh, good, good report as the doctor feels like it will be. He thinks everything's going to be great there, uh, so just pray to that end, and that the Lord would would help there, and then Judy can get back to doing normal. Remember, one of my granddaughters had her tonsils and adenoids took out, and she's had a episode this ap afternoon, but is doing okay right now. Uh, so pray that she can get plumb cleared up from that. Uh, and, and get back to eating and doing as she needs to do there. So uh, I appreciate you praying for that matter itself. Continue to pray. We're going we're gonna to close out tonight in prayer again as we did. There's no, no way that you can pray too much. And uh, I, I want us to be involved in that. So we're going to close in prayer tonight, and we'll pray much about the relief up there and the helpers, the workers. God, keep them safe. Uh, watch over them. Uh, the only way you're going to know how bad the devastation is is to be there and see it. Uh, I've been to Haiti. I've been to Mexico. I've seen pictures. Pictures and live presence is nowhere clear, nowhere near the same thing. It's, it's not the same. You've seen pictures of Israel. We've seen pictures of Israel. But they say to be there on the ground and see the cross or see the, the Mount Calvary, see the tomb and all that. There's no, no comparison to live versus the picture, right? So uh, what's going on on the ground up there is, is, is uh, it's a blessing for the folks that's been able to do there, but what they're seeing is devastation. And please pray, please pray for the folks that's working it. Uh, Jacob shared this morning, we've got 11 of our officers up there working the area in whatever way they can be a help, uh, whether they're doing traffic control or whatever they're doing, they're there. And they saw uh, a very traumatic scene uh, where a mudslide and a and, and hundred people or so were in that slide. Uh, so that is going to be something that will embed in their mind and they'll have to deal with that. Uh, they use the word PTSD. I don't like that a lot. And the reason I don't is it downplays the severity and the seriousness seriousness of what they're dealing with. You say PTSD, the initials, you know what it means. It's post-traumatic uh, uh, syndrome it, it, disorder. Uh, it, it, it gives it a label rather than what it really is. It's a real thing, and it's tough. So remember the traumatic episode that these folks are dealing with and they'll have to deal with. I've been out of it. 25 years I deal with it more now I don't ever talk about this but I deal with the pictures and the scenes 
that's in my mind more now than I did when I was live and in color with it, literally. So that is a real thing. That's not just a series of letters that they've thrown together. It's a real thing. Yes, ma'am. That she was home, yes. Thank God for that. Thank the Lord. Brother Ricky and Miss Doris have went to the mountains for their anniversary for years and years and years. And for whatever reason, uh, Doris says, the Lord put it in her heart to go to the coast this year. So they went to the beach. And had not, they'd have been up there in the middle of a, of a terrible thing, and you don't know what that would have been for them. So they're praising the Lord that God laid it in their heart to go the other direction. And Miss Sue was supposed to be up there in the middle of all this. So thank the Lord she's here with us, and we're not concerned, worried about what kind of a mess she's in. Because some people you can't get contact with. I've got a cousin that's up there, and uh, they can't get to her right now. So there, there's a lot of folks that's in troubles up there. So remember that, and let me get out of the way. I know they need to sing, and we've got... Uh, the girl, she's going to sing a little bit too, and she just sat down on me. So she think I'm going to take a while. She's been around me long enough. She knows how I am. So praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, but uh, we're going to have a word of prayer. But remember all this. We'll pray about that. We'll close an altar uh, service tonight, uh, altar of prayer for these situations. Uh, and we're going to have just a few songs tonight. So that's going to be great. And uh, you won't have to listen to me anymore in just a second. I'll be done. So. Praise the Lord. Thank you, everyone that's given. Thank you for those that's working and doing. And uh, I'm, I'm thrilled for what our church is doing and how much involvement it, it has put into this thing. So we praise the Lord for that. Thank you, church, for what you're doing for Miss Judy and the help that you're giving her and uh, being willing to do the feeding this week to help that. I guess y'all didn't think I could cook, so you've took on yourself to <laughs> help her out. And uh, it's a good thing because I didn't get the cooking art. My brother can cook and cook as good as some of the women around. But uh, Curtis didn't get that. It, it's, it's a football and a frying pan don't fit together. So I just didn't get that part. I was out yonder, and he was in the house taking care of that. I learned how to sweep, mop, vacuum, fold clothes, make the beds, unmake the beds, and all that part I can do. But the cooking is just not in my gear, so... Uh, thank you all for helping Miss Judy survive this week because uh, uh, she, she changed. We was not going to do any, and you all know that, but the doctor said she had to because the medication she's taking would literally eat her stomach up if she didn't have food on her stomach. So uh, thank you all for uh, being flexible and working with the change of plans that we thought we was going to do. And uh, so goes the diet. I thought I was going to get to lose a bunch of weight this week, but now you all going to feed us up. and. Uh, we'll stay the same, I think, maybe, but uh, we are trying to do better with those stuff. But anyway, thank you. Thank you from the depths of my heart. I mean that with all my heart. Thank you for the help. Thank you for the prayers. Uh, thankful for uh, folks that's uh, done what they have in, in the texting and the phone calls. Uh, that's encouraging to Miss Judy as my, and myself as well. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. Let's pray. Father, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for the good folks you've put us with and that we are uh, working as a family together, trying to be a help and a blessing to relieve some of the pain and suffering that folks are going through in these hours. Uh, Lord, from Miss Judy, what she's dealing with, to the folks that's in desperate need uh, in the mountains and, and uh, all the way down to Florida. Lord, uh, thank you for the people that's out there that's working the field. Uh, Lord, give them safety, give them strength, and Lord, give them great rewards and blessings for what they're doing. Thank you for those that have given, whether it be supplies or whether it be funds. And, uh, Lord, thank you for their willingness to give and to help in that. And we sure do appreciate all that uh, is being done. So we pray thy blessings to be upon them. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for putting us in, a, in the good family of God. And, Lord, I pray that you'll bless the singing tonight, bless the singers. I know some was not planning on singing, but, Lord, they're stepping up, and we appreciate them doing that. And, uh, Lord, know it'll be a big blessing to us all tonight. So, Lord, you just have your will and help us to worship you in spirit and in song tonight. And we'll thank you for that. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You pray for them while they sing.
for saving, saving my soul for, because I'm, I'm unworthy to be called his child, but I thank God he, he calls me daughter. Thank you. Y'all just pray for me. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses. And the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and He walks with me, and He talks with me, and He tells me I am His own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet, the birds hush their singing. And the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share while we tarry there, none other has ever known. I'd stay in the garden with him, though the night around me be falling. But he bids me go through the voice of woe. His voice to me is calling. And he walks with me and he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. <clears throat> He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort, in trouble he's my stay. 
He tells me every care on him to roll. He's a lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He all my grief has taken and all my sorrows borne. In temptation he's my strong and mighty tower. I have all for him forsaken and all my idols torn. From my heart and now he keeps me by his power. Though all the world forsake me, and Satan tempts me sore, through Jesus I shall safely reach the goal. He's a lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here. While I live by faith and do his blessed will, a wall of fire about me, I've nothing now to fear. With Miss manna he my hungry soul shall fill. Then sweeping up to glory to see his blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll. He's a lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. Amen. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame and I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain so I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. All oh, the old rugged cross so despised by the world as a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday for a crown to the old rugged cross I have it will ever be true its shame and reproach gladly bear then he'll call me someday to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I'll lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it some 
day for a crown. Drifts away, and as I look back on the years with memories of happiness and bitter tears, through it all there is a common thread that cannot be ignored. You were there, making me to be your servant, Lord. All along, your hand has been guiding me, shaping my life to be a beautiful song. All along, you've led me through things that you knew would make me strong. Your love has joy and pain had a reason of its own now I realize that I was not alone the changing seasons of my life were not left up to chance Lord I know you were working to fulfill your plan all along, your hand has been guiding me, shaping my life to be a beautiful song. All along, you've led me through things that you knew would make me strong. Your love has been there all along. Tomorrow when I turn around and I look back at today, I will understand your purpose and my thankful heart will sing. All along, your hand has been guiding me. of God in help, babe, 
whose gifts of love and righteousness scorned by the ones he came to save till on that cross as jesus died the wrath of god was satisfied for every sin on him was laid here in the death of christ i live there in the ground his body laid light of the world by darkness slain then bursting forth in glorious day up from the grave he rose again and as he stands in victory sin's curse has lost its grip on me for i am his and he is mine bought with the precious blood of christ no guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry till final breath, Jesus commends my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can Till he returns or calls me home, here in the power of Christ I'll stand. Every morning when I wake to see the sun. I can't help but think about the Lord and all the things He's done. He meets my every need. You know He's been so good to me. And I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done. For all He's done. I'm going to lift my hands and praise Him for all He's done. I'll try to live my life to please Him, even though I don't deserve to live. My life has just begun, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done. There are many things that I could praise God for, and if I started now until I die, there'd still be many more. If I could mention only one, I'd have to thank him for his son. Now that's enough to praise the Lord for all he's done. For all he's done, I'm going to lift my hands and praise him for all he's done. I'm going to live my life to please him, even though I don't deserve to live. My life has just begun, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all he's done. Even though I don't deserve to live, my life has just begun, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all he's done.
like them young voices, I don't know about y'all, but I noticed how they didn't have a bit of problem running the scale. <clears throat> Some of us other folk would have a lot of issues there. That's why we're just singing in the basement and don't have to worry about it. Amen. <laughs> uh, but praise the Lord. I'm very thankful for that. Appreciate the good singing tonight. It is uh, a joy to hear those gals all sing. And uh, some of you guys might ought to get together on some singing, get some things worked up. Amen. We don't want the lady folk to carry all the load, but it's all right for now. Uh, we appreciate it. We're thankful for it. We're going to have an altar of prayer. And if you can, we encourage you to come around the altar and pray. If you cannot, that's fine and dandy. You can pray right there in your place. Uh, it's not a matter of how close to the altar you are as to how close you are to God. We know that. We just honor him by by praying in an altar, but we're going to ask the Lord tonight to, uh, specifically for these that are in great need in the mountains, and uh, I honest, it just it just breaks my heart to uh, know what I know that's going on there, and I just got a little bitty tad bit of what's really going on. It's, it's bad. Um, so we'll hear more of the details as time goes, and pray about this. I'd had Several mentioned the other storm that's coming, and I was not aware of that. There's one in the works down there in the Gulf, deep Gulf, or whatever it is down past Cuba and all that, that they're projecting to come pretty much the same path. Uh, again, they've got it coming up through Atlanta and then making a, a, a left turn and going westward, uh, which was what they projected on this one. But this thing does not need steam hatchy and... And that path that it just traveled, I don't, I don't know how they could stand anymore. Uh, I know God's grace is sufficient, but uh, with what devastation they've already got, a second storm's going. I, I don't know. It's, it's going to have to be God to help. So pray God will see fit to either defuse that thing or turn it around and send it somewhere else, because uh, that's just uh, the path I saw earlier this evening. Is is. I don't know. Just, just much prayer is needed. Uh, I know our area is already overloaded, and uh, uh, the West is is full. So, much prayer for that. All right. So, if you can and will, we're gonna gather around this evening and take time here in the altar and pray and ask the Lord to help us. You can pray loud. You can pray quiet. I don't care. That's between you and the Lord. Um, but uh, let's all gather together and pray. And uh, ask God to send the reinforcements of help that is needed to those folks. Pray for their strength. Pray for, pray for their safety. And uh, for those that may be needing to be rescued, they'll be able to get to them. Uh, here we are a couple of days into this. I know it would be terrible for folks to be in a, uh, entrapped in some way. And uh, just pray that God will see, send them what they need. All right? Let's go to God.
uh, that is to be given through this. And just help, Lord, and just please help. For those that are able to send in great help financially and supply-wise, I pray, God, you'd have burdened their heart if they're not already engaged and already helping this, and God, you'd burden their heart heavily to help this. I know there's folks that's got uh, the money and the abilities to send a lot in this, and I pray you'll help them to do that. For those that are, again, I ask you to bless every dollar, every dime, every bottle of water, every little bit of effort, uh, to the greatest of efforts, Lord, I pray your blessings on it. As you bless the last lunch, I pray you bless these supplies that it'll be sufficient to help in the needs that's there. Thank you, Lord, for the good service tonight, for all of you that are singing. Bless everyone, and we thank you so much, Lord, for uh, helping Miss Nikki and letting her be able to stand and sing again. Lord, with the condition and the troubles that she's been through, we just didn't know we'd ever get to do that again. Lord, we thank you so much for how you touched her and helped her. And continue to bless Nikki and bless Miss Anita uh, and in the days to come. You know their needs there. So we, we thank you for that. Again, we ask that you continue to help Miss Judy uh, as she heals up. Lord, bless her. And uh, may everything come back with a great report. We give you praise for that. Others is going through some things. And Lord, you know their needs. I know that we had a lot of requests uh, Wednesday night. A lot of families has got things going on in each one. And Lord, you know them. You know what's going through my mind right now. And I just pray that, God, you touch these special requests, these unspoken requests, these great needs that's there. And God, that you're moving them. And then for those that's lost, uh, many we've been praying for here, that, God, you save them. May they see, uh, Lord, uh, your, your goodness and your grace. And may they see Jesus by faith and what he did for them on Calvary, that they might be saved. Lord, please help us to be a good witness to testimony. Thank you for our good folks that come out again tonight. I pray your blessings upon them. And give us the refreshing we need in our bodies. Lord, we'll sure thank you for all you're doing. We give you the praise and the glory. For we ask it all tonight, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us tonight.